Hello and welcome. So Michael here and I'll be your guide for all things EFT. So today let's do a tap along on improving our relationship with food. And in particular, learn to become more mindful with our food choices, um, the way that we are interacting with our food, not overeating, uh, learning to stop when we're full or satisfied, and just these kinds of habits that we have around food because food is very triggering for a lot of us and we have a very sort of intense relationship with it. Right? So this tap is to help sort of take the edge off this maybe reduce a bit of stress around food so that when you are working with it is that the relationship feels more harmonious, more clear, rather than sort of impulsiveness, which is the opposite of being aware, basically. So let's begin. So I tap on the side of the hand. <clears throat> Take a moment. And just as best as you can, can you welcome any feelings or images when it comes around food? In particular, any feelings of like craving, stress, anxiety, worry, these types of feelings. And just let them come through the mind without trying to analyze it. In EFT, we don't analyze, we're not trying to work things out cognitively. We are focusing on the stressful impulse underneath it all. And when we neutralize those, those stressful impulses, then everything shifts, including the mind's thinking. So we don't really need to analyze it. So, when you're ready, repeat these words after me. So, even though I struggle with food sometimes, and I have a weird relationship with food, in some ways, it controls me. And in some ways, I like to control it. And this relationship stresses me out. And that's okay. I fully and deeply accept myself anyway. So even though I struggle with food sometimes, I struggle with cravings. I struggle, I struggle with impulsiveness. I struggle with indulgence. And I also struggle with guilt around food. And that's okay. I fully and deeply accept myself anyway. Tap on the inside of the eye. So all these cravings around food, it, it overwhelms me. And then I find it hard to listen to my body's wisdom. Tap on the side. So even though I have all these cravings and all this confusion around food, that's okay. I accept the way that I feel and it's okay to take a breath and let some of this effort go under the eye. Even though my relationship with food is complicated 
and challenging. That's okay too. Under the nose. And sometimes I feel guilty when I indulge in my favorite foods. And that's okay too. On the chin. Sometimes I eat when I'm stressed, bored, or sad. And then I get frustrated at myself. And then I feel guilty. And then I feel sad. And then I eat again because I'm stressed, bored, sad. And the cycle just seems to go on and on forever. It's up on the chest. But I'm open to the possibility that I can change the way I approach it. That I don't have to beat myself up about. And then I can develop a healthy relationship with food. With the arm. Where the food isn't controlling me. And I'm not controlling it. I can just let it be what it is. Top of the head. And all the guilt all the worry, all the shame around food. Maybe it's time to let some of it go. Inside the eye. It's time to let those feelings go. Up on the side. It's time to embrace a new way of being with food. Under the eye. Without the guilt, without the punishment, without the pressure, I can just simply allow to be relaxed with the food. nose and that when I eat I can take my time put on the chin and I and that I become aware of when I'm full and it's easy to know when enough when I'm full Tap on the chest. So I'm learning to be more mindful and more patient with my food. And I'm letting go of the control it has over me. I can release and let that pressure go. Under the arm. And I'm learning to trust that I can make good decisions with food. Wisdom. Sensitivity. Awareness. These are the things that I'm bringing into my relationship with food. Top of the head, wisdom. Sensitivity and awareness. These are the things I'm bringing into my relationship with food. So from the inside of the eye. I find it easy to stop eating when it's time. So from the side, and I find it easy to eat the right things at the right time. 
good under the eye. And if sometimes that doesn't work out, or I make a mistake, that's okay. I can release and let it go. And I can move forward with ease. Tap under the nose. So I'm learning to appreciate food without judgment. And I'm learning to bring in more balance and joy into my approach with eating. And so it's safe now to let go of all that effort and struggle, all that criticism, judgmentalism, guilt, shame. I choose to release it from my body. I choose to release it through my breath. And I choose to release it from my mind. And I fully and deeply love and accept myself no matter what. Take a breath, relax the tap. Take a sip of water. So you can come back to this at any time. This can be quite a big one, right? There's a lot of energy in it and there's lots of different angles on it. Different kinds of relationships that we've got with food. So there's likely to be more to unpack in this one, but this is definitely get you started. And you can always interchange some of the things I've said with other things that are more suitable to you. Okay, and just keep tapping on it. Again, the focus is we're releasing the stress underneath the behavior. And once that stress is gone, the clarity, and also the body just tends to shed weight because it's the stress signals which causes it to dysfunction right to cause it to gain weight <clears throat> so if the stress is in there the body can regulate itself and that means coming to a healthy weight and a healthy relationship with food so let me know in the comments below how it went for you and i look forward to seeing you next time